Fortnite Battle Royale is a free multiplayer shooting game where the last person standing wins. The game can be played on nearly any device, and players enjoy the ability of being able to speak to one another while they play. But in all its fun and excitement, there's a dark side that no one really seems to be talking about. Fortnite is addictive, and we are now seeing an epidemic of children consumed with unhealthy gaming habits. In fact, the World Health Organization has listed gaming disorder as a mental illness in its latest international classification of diseases. They have defined gaming disorder as an increasing priority given to gaming, to the extent that gaming takes precedence over other interests and daily activities. You've probably already seen videos on social media of kids imitating the famous dancers, such as the Floss and the L. It's no secret that these games are taking over their lives in a very rapid way. What's even more problematic is children are now even tempted to spend what little money they have on the game in exchange for virtual V-Bucks. Some kids are reportedly spending hundreds of real dollars forming outfits and character skins for their virtual players. What's striking is that these skins don't enhance gameplay at all. Their purpose is purely aesthetic. Research even shows that the makers of games are in fact working with psychologists, neuroscientists and social science experts to take advantage of children's psychological vulnerabilities to capture kids' attention for the sake of industry profit. In total, the gaming industry saw revenues of $108.4 billion in 2017 alone. And the reality is, these companies will continue to strive to make more addictive games that will hook more players in, in order to generate more revenue. Luke Vu, a registered psychologist who specializes in treating addictions, says that Fortnite has some interesting elements. If you're interacting with other players and let's say you're shooting in a another character, they would display the health bar of the other character to see how close you were to, to actually, um, you know, victory or to, or to defeat. And so that type of feedback is also very encouraging of continued play. I, I just blame giving it too much time. I should have done it a lot more casually. I shouldn't have devoted so much time to it and let my life get, get like this. You know, I, I should have never, should have never let my life get like this, man. Should have never let it happen. Whether or not you want to ban these video games in your household is a choice for the parents to make themselves. Vu claims that balance is key, and parents must always look for red flags. Parents must always be vigilant and consistently aware of their children's habits. As the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, each of you is a shepherd, and each of you is responsible for his flock.